Hey guys, it's me, Casey, and today's video is going to be a little different from some of the other videos that I have put out on my channel. And this video is something I think for me and for what I would like my channel to look like is something that's really important for me to put out. So I have no idea really what this is going to be or turn into, and this may never even get posted. It really just depends on how I'm feeling, but I know that talking about these things that have been floating around in my head the last few days will be really good for me, and it could also be beneficial for one of you guys out there. One of my biggest goals for starting my channel has always been to make sure that I was 100% myself and also real, and I haven't really completely figured out what that means or what exactly that's going to look like played out in real life but the youtubers that i enjoy watching and the ones that have really like impacted me in a way inspired me and motivated me are the ones that are real and that doesn't mean coming on the internet and airing your dirty laundry for everyone to see and hear about but it is really nice to hear stories from someone who's been through similar experiences as you it's nice to hear that someone is struggling in the same way that you are and know that you're not alone. And I have found a lot of comfort personally in that. And that is something that's awesome to me about social media is the fact that now we have this whole network where we can reach out and meet and interact in a way, start a connection with someone through the internet. That's something one of my favorite all-time favorite youtubers kaylin nicholson if you have not watched her i find her very inspiring very motivating and just very much relatable to me and she is a real person she shares the ups as well as the downs um, but she was talking in another video uh just a couple weeks ago about the thing about social media and how much we decide to share online and some people think that social media is the worst thing to ever happen. And it definitely has, you know, its cons and its things that you need to be aware of to watch for. But it allows you to be able to interact and connect with people that otherwise you would never meet in your entire life. And I think that's amazing. And it's a privilege that we have that in this day and age that we're able to communicate so much. And I think it can be used very wisely. So sharing your life story, sharing your experiences are things that can really help other people. And that's something that I really want to do on this channel. I'm not coming on the internet to air my dirty laundry or to air my family's dirty laundry or to talk about all the ways that this person has hurt me and offended me. But I do want to share experiences that I have because my life is very different from the normal life. And I have really learned that you know even though there's those people and their instagrams look extremely perfect and their families look like they're just the happiest family in the world and their youtube videos are cut and spliced exactly together so aesthetically with the perfect background music doesn't mean their life is that way and it doesn't mean that my life has to be that way and growing up that was something that was very hard for me because my family was different from all the other families my dynamic was different. I did grow up with my grandparents, and that's a whole other thing in and of itself, but I remember just growing up feeling like my life was never going to be good enough or perfect compared to all these families who had the traditional mom, dad, and a couple siblings, you know? My life just wasn't that way, and for the longest time, I was ashamed of that, and I was embarrassed of that, and I didn't want people to know. And, you know, I'd get close to someone and become friends with them. And then I'd realize, oh, it's time. I got to share the story. I got to tell them all my stuff. And I'm just really thankful that I don't feel that way anymore. And that I've learned that even if that family looks perfect, they're not. And that's something we can all accept and be okay with. And it's okay if your family is different from everyone else's. And if your life has turned out way, way different than you had hoped or dreamed that's okay. It's okay and you can get through it and you can still have a good life and you can still be a different person. And that kind of gets into like what's going on with this week. Um, this week's just been really hard and I'm not going to get into any of the details of why, but 
I've had some family situations and I've had some work situations. I've had a situation um, with a client from my dog sitting business that I kind of really did mess up and you know I've had to deal with that with my mistake there and working through that and I've also just had a lot of you know those like little annoyances this week and I am a firm believer that like once your attitude is set to negative once you are thinking this is the worst week this is the worst day just everything seems to go wrong I really do believe that because it just it just compounds on itself you know it's been one of those days where one of my dogs that I go let out during the day peed on me just literally lifted his leg and peed on me I spilled salsa all over my desk at work that was great you know just those little things it's just been that week and it's been a difficult week and not everything going on is dogs peeing on me and salsa there's some like really hard stuff going on that's really hard to work through but it's been also really good because you know a year ago going through this kind of week I don't know like where my mind would have been at and I don't want to just start crying like a sob story but having a really difficult week a year ago would have thrown me into a huge bout of depression feeling like my life was never going to change my life was never going to get better and everything was always going to be this hard because life is hard and the last few years in my life have specifically been very hard but I've also been growing and changing and becoming who I am more than any other time in my life and I know I'm still really young I'm only 22 so I'm sure there's so many more changes and growth to come in the future but the last few years in my life have been very shaping for me because I went through difficult times, specifically in 2017, my grandpa passed away unexpectedly and um, he raised me, he was my dad, and I lost him at a time that was really difficult to lose a parent, you know? It was nine days after I got engaged, it was a year before my wedding, it was extremely difficult for me and for my whole family, and that really threw me off. I mean, it just threw off my entire world. It just everything and those last I can talk more about that in another video um but those next two years 2018 and 2019 were very hard (laughs) and the end of 2019 was when I decided you know like I can either stay feeling this way and just continue to feel like my life is this big mess and this big mistake that wasn't supposed to happen I can keep feeling like I'm not supposed to be on the planet and like it's there's no point in trying anymore because it's so hard or I can decide to get get some control and I don't mean that having control over your life is the answer I just mean taking the steps that you need and that was for me you know getting counseling and other things but it's been really great to know that when these hard times come up it doesn't mean that now the rest of the year has to be ruined it doesn't mean that the next day has to be ruined and you know today um three days ago I was literally in bed crying really upset didn't know what to do and I felt like the world was just crashing in on me because I had I felt like I had darts coming from all kinds of directions you know work and family and friends and just all these things piling up on one and now it's three days later I got out of bed today I showered I went to work I did what I needed to do and I'm moving on and it doesn't mean that all my problems are fixed but it means that I'm growing and I'm changing and I'm learning how to deal with the really hard things in life I really wanted to make this video because It's hard to explain these kind of things when you're doing fine. Especially for me, I really do struggle with like denial. So um, when something's really hard, like that's my entire life. Everything is difficult and the world sucks. I have a hard time seeing the good. And then when things are good, I really am like good at ignoring the bad. (laughs) I just completely like forget that this is a problem, you know, and that's something I have to work on. But that's why I really wanted to film this today really wanted to sit down and talk about it because 
I have found so much encouragement, like I said, in finding those people who are willing to say, you know, sometimes my life is really sucky. Sometimes my life is completely falling apart. But, you know, we got this, guys. And something I did today, I just kind of want to throw in as like a tip or advice. I woke up today and the last few days have been really hard and my house shows it. My self was showing it and my mind was showing it just life in general you could tell it was a rough week there were dishes everywhere the house is a mess whatever so I got up and I wrote down everything I want to be able to do to feel like you know I I'm kind of like go, going back in my routine after a difficult couple days and then I wrote down all right what can I do right now what can I do today what can I plan to do today? Because obviously I'm not going to be able to clean the entire house, get everything back on track, take the time I need for myself to think through stuff and all of that in one day. So what are the baby steps I can do today? And I wrote that down and I did those things. And now I can look at tomorrow, all right? What are the baby steps I can do tomorrow that will help me to continue taking those next steps forward? And I don't know if any of this video makes any sense or if it is encouraging or helpful to anybody. I just want to really speak to those of you who feel like you're in that rut, who feel like life is just continually giving you lemons and even though you're trying to make lemonade, you don't know how or you use salt instead of sugar and it's just a huge mess. I just want you to know that if you choose within yourself to say, I'm going to get through this, I'm gonna get the resources and the help I need, I'm gonna lean on the people who are there for me, and I'm gonna get through this, you will. You will. And then the next time life throws you another bad batch of whatever, you will have more tools, more resources, and more ability to get through it even quicker. So that's my encouragement today. Um, you know it's been a rough week, but it's okay. Also, before I filmed this video, I had a video from last weekend, a weekend in my life. I just don't feel like putting that one up right now, but I'm going to go ahead and put that one up after this one. So when you see that, that was before this week. Um, I just really want to get this video out there more. It's more important to me to get this one out than the week in my life that, I mean, it... Oh, it's just not as important to me. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, please leave me any questions. If you want me to talk about other topics, I would love to do that. You can go ahead and tell me that down below. Um, but yeah, guys, just keep pushing through. If life has been kicking you down today, that's okay. We can get through it. We will get through it. And also, I just want everyone to know that's watching this, you can go ahead and DM me anytime or like on YouTube, you can message me on Instagram. Um, I would love to be there for you if you ever want to talk through something and like I would totally love to be that person for you. Um, I never want you to feel alone. So if you don't have someone to talk to, I'll be that person for you. I seriously will. And um, you don't have to worry about me like sharing anything that you share with me or anything like that. So I strongly believe in confidentiality when people are talking to you about their life struggles. So anyways, now that I've blabbered on for ooh, 16 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and go and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my weekend in my life of the Super Bowl weekend. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. You can like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content. See you guys later. Bye.